Formula One is a sport that expects the best of you, and only the best drivers can live and prosper in it. Ever since he began racing in Formula One, Max Verstappen has been destined for greatness. He is the youngest driver in Formula One history to start and win a race, and he did so at his maiden race for Red Bull Racing. He not only drives a Formula One supercar, but he also has a fantastic collection of cars at his disposal. But how luxurious are they? What level of interior and comfort do they offer? And how much did they cost? Well, let's find out. But first, please leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Austin Martin DB11 Austin Martin has long been known for its luxurious, well-finished interiors. It does not disappoint. Its predecessor, the DB9, had become a little dated, but this is state-of-the-art and forward-thinking on the interior. The interior materials of the DB11 are top of the line, with hand-stitched leather and sumptuous real wood finishes aplenty. The speaker grills and air vent surrounds are made entirely of metal components, and everything is put together in a robust, rattle-free way that feels built to last. A motorized lid for the primary storage compartment that glides open at the touch of a button is one of many surprise and delight features. The automobile is equipped with a 630 horsepower, twin turbocharged 5.2 liter V, 12 engine at a price of roughly $245,900. He did, however, trade his car for an Austin Martin Vantage. Austin Martin Vantage. The Dutchman has driven the car around the tracks a few times. The interior appears to be well designed and visually exciting. Its cabin is a relaxing location to spend time. And when it comes to the rotary dial that controls the infotainment functions, it reminds the Mercedes hardware under the hood. Indicating Austin Martin's connection with Mercedes, the Vantage driving position is appropriately racy. The driver sits low in the cockpit on a seat that provides good support for furious driving and high levels of comfort on extended highway drives. You can also have heated and ventilated seats controlled by touch-sensitive levers next to the temperature control switches. It has a 4.0-liter V8 engine that produces 503 horsepower and 505 pound-feet of torque. It can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds and reach a top speed of 195 miles per hour. Austin Martin DBS Superlegra The DBS is a grand touring sports car. Therefore, it has plenty of amenities to make your journey more comfortable. Standard features include leather-wrapped power, adjustable sports seats with heat and memory settings. Several trim types are available for the cabin, including open pour ash wood, carbon fiber, and satin-finished chrome. It has an 8.0-inch infotainment display with navigation and Bluetooth phone and audio streaming. It's a monstrously rapid touring vehicle, with a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3.2 seconds for the coupe at a top speed of 211 miles per hour for both coupe and convertible. Surprisingly, it produces over 715 horsepower and 663 pound-feet torque at a price tag of 316 thousand five hundred dollars however it doesn't appear that verstappen made much use of it as the odometer had barely reached two thousand kilometers before the dutchman returned it austin martin valkyrie the valkyrie hypercar austin martin's luxury project in collaboration with head red bull car designer adrian newey is also included in the collection the cockpit is designed like a teardrop and passengers are seated with their feet up it's comparable to the driver's seat in modern Formula One race cars. The car's switchgear is mounted on the steering wheel, with critical signs displayed on a single OLED display panel, reducing driver attention and bustle. Aston also claims that it will enable customers to personalize the inside by 3D scanning their bodies to create a custom-fit driver's seat and fasten the driver with a race harness rather than a regular three-point seatbelt. Powered by a 6.5-liter naturally aspirated V12 engine with 1,160 horsepower and 546 pound-feet of torque, the car can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds and reach a high speed of 250 miles per hour. 
all for a starting price of $3 million for Ari Monza SP2. Despite being a member of the Red Bull team for several years, Max has decided to add a Ferrari to his collection. It's an automobile that appears to have been shaped by the wind. The simplicity of the design aspect stands out, a futuristic aesthetic that pays homage to the past, while remaining respectful and unnostalgic. The development of the interior design concentrated on the driver's cockpit. The instrumentation, instrument cluster, and seat structure needed to be redesigned to fulfill the driver's new requirements. The list of people who possess this car is impressive, with renowned chef Gordon Ramsay, Max Verstappen, and AC Milan player Zeal Artarn, Ibrahimovic among the owners. The Monza SP2 is powered by a 6.5-liter V12 engine that accelerates to 100 km per hour in 2.9 seconds and has a top speed of nearly 290 km per hour, producing 850 horsepower, costing him over $1.8 million. Renault RS01, it was unveiled at the Moscow International Automobile Salon in 2014, and the automobile took five months to create. In 2015, Verstappen had his first car spin which he immediately added to his collection. The RS01's interior is a pure race car, built on a Dallara-designed carbon fiber monocoque chassis. All the creature comforts the driver can expect are a sable bucket seat with a six-point harness and hands mounting points. Still, safety is likely to be more important than comfort, so it's comforting to know that the RS01 has an FIA LMP one grade steel roll cage in the cabin and twin crash boxes. One built around the gearbox at the back, absorbing the energy of any impact. It has the 3.8 liter VR38 debt that powers the RS01 twin turbocharged 24 valve V6 engine, producing 550 horsepower and can reach speeds of 300 kilometers per hour. We can all attest, it isn't the priciest automobile, but it does sell for $400,000. Porsche 911 GT3 RS After winning the 2016 Spanish Grand Prix for Red Bull Racing and becoming the youngest millionaire after joining them, Max Verstappen caught the attention of the motorsport world. He became the youngest winner in the race's history and the first Dutch driver to reach the podium's top step. According to the Swiss tabloid Blick, Verstappen celebrated his victory by acquiring a Porsche 911 GT3 RS for over $400,000. Given that Max was only 18 at the time, it's no wonder that he requested permission from Joss and his manager before proceeding with the purchase. The 911's classic style can be found inside the GT3's high-visibility cockpit, which incorporates a simple dashboard and a distinctive gauge cluster with five circular modules. While the standard 911 can potentially seat four people, the GT3 does away with the rear jump seats to conserve weight. Power adjustments are standard on the front sport seats, while the optional carbon fiber complete bucket seats are lighter and provide additional support. The car is powered by a 4-liter PSH6 engine that produces 500 horsepower, and it accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in under 3.4 seconds, with a top speed of 315 km per hour. Ferrari 488 Pista The 488 is a two-seater, and both occupants enjoy a cabin with more space than you'd expect from a high-end exotic. The cabin incorporates performance-themed design elements that complement the car's forceful sheet metal. There isn't much cargo room, as is usual for automobiles in this class. It has only 6 cubic feet of storage space for your goods. Ferrari's cockpits are famous and they use carbon fiber and Alcantara to make them as light as possible, much like every other Ferrari. Under the hood of the 488 is a twin-turbocharged 3.9-liter V8 that produces 711 horsepower and 567 pound-feet of torque. The action is controlled by a 7-speed automatic transmission that sends power to the car's rear wheels. It was designed specifically to quench your desire for speed as it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.7 seconds, all for a price tag of $331,000. Mercedes-Benz C63 S AMG Mercedes-Benz has been developing high-end automobiles for almost a century. When it comes to modern Mercedes-Benzes, 
One thing that can never be questioned is their quality, and it shines through even more on the inside, where you'll discover a nicely designed cockpit with high-quality materials and lovely finishes. A 12.3-inch digital driver's display is located behind the steering wheel, while a 10.25-inch monitor is located in the center of the dash. The luxurious atmosphere is enhanced by 64-color ambient lighting, and the supportive yet comfy seats make you feel at ease. This is a stunning cabin that seamlessly integrates technology and graceful aesthetics. The C63, like many of its competitors in this class, can easily see five persons. It produces 469 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. Both engines are equipped with a 9-speed automated transmission and rear-wheel drive. For the 2021 edition, prices start at $70,000. And it's a wrap. Which car did you think was the most impressive? Comment below. Let's engage. Also, for more exciting luxurious car videos, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Goodbye.